In preparation for Christmas, I took a look at my mom's Amazon wish list and noticed that she had one of these on there. Uh, it's just the simple bamboo block that goes in a drawer for holding knives. Pretty cool idea, cost a little bit over 20 bucks, probably should have just bought it, but instead I spent two days making my version of that. So take a look. So I've got room for 11 knives of various shapes and sizes. And if I wanted to have more capacity, it's pretty easy to add more of these partitions. Uh, they're actually held together with sliding dovetails. And there's just a little uh, dovetail tenon that slides through and holds everything together. Pretty easy to make. Now, because I'm pretty much ripping off a design here, I don't really feel good about giving plans or drawings or any kind of templates for this. I didn't use them. I just kind of hand drew what I thought looked good. And I don't think it's that difficult. I think you can get the idea, but I will show you exactly how I made it. All right, let's get to it. My neighbor was kind enough to share some of his leftover Brazilian cherry flooring boards with me. So I'll use those along with some American cherry for contrast for the knife block ribs. Now I'll mill everything flat and square. I'll cut to width at the table saw and then cut the final length using a cross cut slide. With the pieces ganged together, I make sure they're nice and flush on the end and then clamp them. I can make my dovetail slots on all of the pieces at once and the slots will be perfectly aligned. But first I wanna make some clearing cuts at the table saw. At the router table, I'll use a dovetail bit for the final slots. The dovetail key will be cut from some flooring offcuts. The width is the max width of the dovetail slot and the thickness is the height of the slot. This piece is pretty small, so it's important to use a feather board and do whatever you can to keep your fingers away from the bit. The great thing about a sliding dovetail is that you don't need to adjust the height of the bit for the second cut. We'll just dial in the fence position until the piece fits. It's just a bit too snug, so I'll take a few passes over a piece of sandpaper on the table saw. Using a piece of scrap, I can make a template for the curves. I'm really just trying to make it look similar to the one that my mom wants. Way to be creative, Spags. The curves are then cut at the bandsaw and then smoothed at the spindle sander. I can then transfer the shape to the rest of the ribs. Because it's flooring, some of the Brazilian cherry has grooves that can be seen from the ends. So I'll just glue in some strips, flush them to the surface, and make sure that those sides face inward in the final arrangement. Now I can cut the curves out at the bandsaw, keeping about a sixteenth of an inch away from my line. I'll use the blue tape CA glue trick that I learned from Crimson Custom Guitars to attach the template for the flush trim routing. I place a piece of blue tape in the same spot on both pieces, then put some thick CA glue on one side. The other side gets the activator, and when I press the pieces together, they are securely connected within seconds. Double stick tape works too, but after years of dealing with the tape creeping and with residue on the surface afterwards, I'm now a big believer in this method check out how easy it is to clean up and set up for the next one. After rounding to shape, the parts are all sanded and the edges are rounded over. For the knife slots, I'll make two cuts at the bandsaw with a magnet as a stop. The slot just isn't wide enough with one cut, so I'll make a second cut that's just slightly offset from the first. To do the glue up, I'll use small spacers between each rib. As simple as this project is, the glue up can get pretty hairy. Water-based glue causes wood to swell, so a sliding dovetail that fits perfectly when dry may never go together when coated in glue. So I'll work quickly and use the glue sparingly. I'll insert the center dovetail key into the slot just to keep the pieces aligned. Now with glue in the outer slots, I can tap the outer keys in place. Once those are installed, I can insert the center key with glue. Once the glue dries, I could use a flush trim saw to cut off the ends and sand everything nice and smooth. For the finish, I'm just using spray can lacquer to provide a little bit of protection and a nice look. And with that, our knife block is done. Only thing left to do is take some pretentious photos in a nonsensical setting and post them on Instagram. 
Hashtag bespoke. Hashtag blessed.